they can do it, we can too, right? Right? You see, that's what they want us to think with this. Now, the whole reason why they're humiliating uh, anything masculine is, trust me, they got a plan for it. Now, the way they do this stuff is years and years in advance. Psalms 83 talks about long planning, long suffering. And yes, they're willing to use their own to get to us. Because if white people are wearing dresses, then we got to wear dresses. And it's sad because they start, they got them wearing, every every time we start the we shouldn't be wearing dresses talk, they throw a few of them in a dress. You know, it's confusing because some of them don't know and it's it's sad. I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry because some of them don't know why they're getting put in dresses and stuff like that. And it is a submission thing. It is a submission thing. It is them trying to be like God. There's a scripture where God compares his uh, chosen people to a wife and himself to a husband. And he does that parallel not to say that he wants men to be women. He does that parallel to kind of explain how he wants uh, basically Israel and his people and, and everyone under Jacob to be loyal to him. Kind of, in some ways, kind of like a wife. But of course, you know, other things didn't exist back then. So the parallel use was like a wife. The reason why they be throwing us in dresses and stuff like that is because they want us to be their wives. The oppressors want us to be their wives. And every time these talks happen in the black community, they throw some black, well, some white masculine men in dresses. They'll do it for other ones. And they're like, see, they did it. This isn't targeted. Now get in the dress. Why can't it just be a cultural thing where we decide we don't want to put on dresses because we're black? Again, we should be allowed to. Hollywood is is not its own cult. Well, it is its own culture, but it's not like its own race of people. But I know the oppressors love this and, and they love doing this because it's like, you're my woman. I'll, I'll put the scripture in there, but they do this to say, you're our, you know, my woman. Because the more I read the Bible and understand, the more I realize these people keep trying to play God and do things like God, but in a weird, conscrewed way or in a way that they think or understand. Understand, this is a, a twisting of a parable in the Bible. Now, if God wanted men to be women or act like women, then he would include scriptures or rules or certain things like you're supposed to do this, that, and the other, you know, when you get to a certain point, or he would make it so that men could get pregnant back then. That's not what happened. Instead, we have what's going on now. And trust me, yes, they will erase history. Yes, they'll do X, Y, and Z. They'll do all of these things. But, you know, they got white dudes in the crossfire. I don't think Vin, 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 not Vin Rames, but Rick Van Dam would be in the situation. I don't think anyone who was, okay, I th yeah, they put Schwarzenegger in the dress. They did. They did. But certain 80 star, you know, because it shortens your run. If you want to go long term, they, they got to humiliate you. They got to humiliate you or, you know, and, and this is something I heard. It's possibly not true. They get a, they get force you to do a video with someone, uh, underage. And then if you ever say something, they expose you or they create a rhetoric ab about you. And then when you turn, go against their plans, they then have people come out the woodworks and, and confirm that rhetoric. There's many ways they humiliate you. But it depends on what they want you to do. If they want you to be the masculine, rely on piece, then they're not going to humiliate you the same. And, you know, I used to think this was funny. And there were black dudes who did put on dresses on YouTube who, you know, they weren't. A, I don't believe they were a part of this stuff. Corey Kitchen was one of them. Corey Kitchen put on a dress and, you know, 
he probably thought it was funny or thought it was because it was what was on TV. And, you know, I think that's part of the reason why we don't see him now is he's sitting down thinking, looking at certain things because he really did disrespect himself in the beginning years. So, you know, that's why I'm not per se upset. But again, this is about making the men feminine. But this is really so that when it comes back around to black men, it's like, see, I did it. You do it. No. Dollar.